So this is the H harness that will integrate with any of our micro rigs, and it actually comes standard on a, most of our larger rigs. And all you do is you unclip these four clips right here, just like so. And we're going to clip this right in here. This is off of one of Cody's other rigs, so it's actually already adjusted. We're going to clip that right in there. It's adjusted off a wider rig. And then this excess strap, double bypass, put it back through this bar here and run it right up back underneath there. And you can just tuck it away. You can route it a couple more times so that it'll stay secure, but you don't have to. Um, but you don't want to cut it because you might want to run this over something with cold weather gear or heavier uh, second layer clothing. So I don't want to uh, ever chop that off. You can also tape it up or use Velcro or whatever to keep the uh, ends in place. And there it is right there. And it's a lot more straightforward. You don't have to fight with the cross straps to put it on and off. The cross straps definitely work fine. Uh, this is just a little more comfortable. You do not have to have this, but what this does allow you to do, it also has routing and pals here. So you can put a small tourniquet on there should you want to. You can route uh, hydration tubes, camelback tubes. You can put comm wires, uh, control all your cables and stuff for your comms up to your push to talk. And then you can also, with this, turn around, we can integrate the hydro carrier, which comes with four straps. It has four included straps with it. So the upper straps have one uh, strap with them, and that's this here. And we'll show you how these go on and where we're going to put these. So. We'll route this, and depending on how tall you are and how far back you wear your cross strap, you might actually want to even hit the first one. But I'm on the second one right here. I'm going to run that down, just like so. And now I'm going to put the buckle on in the first, out the second, just like so. And then I'm going to pull this so that it doesn't pull down later, right there. And I'm going to lock this up through here first, second, and then run it back through, and that's the double bypass, which will lock it into position in place, just like so. Pull this down into there, so that, because it's, it's stuttering on that, where that's sewn thicker. And if you don't pull it down, it will come down on its own eventually, and then it'll, you'll have some slack in there. So again, in the first, out the second, that's locked in. Send it back through that tri-glide right there, and that's double bite. That's locking it in. And here's your carrier. There's a loop in the top, so you can hang your bladder in there. And you just pass your tube left or right, wherever you want it. So this clips in here, clips in here, just like so. And then here, for your waist strap, you're actually going to remove the waist strap, and you're not going to use it. You are instead going to use these right here. And what this gives you is it replaces the waist strap, just like so. And we're going to clip this right here. Now, this is a little loose right here. Cody is super skinny. So with this, he's probably going to wear armor, other clothing. And it's also not adjusted properly. We're going to adjust it differently, which will give you, we're going to raise this up one, which will bring this whole hydration carrier higher. And this will lock in here. But you're just going to double bypass this and lock it through like what we showed you on the other one. We're going to bring it in the front, out the back, just like so. And then all this extra, we're just going to route this back through that buckle and we can keep doing it. You could run it underneath until it's literally just gone. You can also tape it up. Uh, you could also use Velcro and put it in place and it's gonna look just like that. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side right here. And you can cut the excess off 
but you, you want to make sure you've got it bypassed a couple times and locked in place so that it really has a secure bite to it. Um, and if you do cut it off, you can't ever add it. Um, you could also take it and just simply wrap it around also and then tape it uh, in place there. But if you cut it, you're never going to be able to go back and add it to larger gear or if you ever sell it to somebody bigger than yourself. But you can see that's how the hydro carrier goes. Integrates with the H harness and the H harness works on any of the rigs. And to use the hydro carrier, you do have to have the H harness in order to integrate the hydration. But that's it and it's shown right here on our stacked micro rig. And then this excess webbing right here will get pushed through, dominated through there. And then again, I would just continue it and bring it right through the buckle, right through there. And if you want, you could even fish it under there and it would be nice and secure and completely out of the way. And that's it.